Hello guys, this is 1965 Lincolns and struck on a 90% silver dime planchette. Graded in mid state 63 by NGC. A transitional pattern issue spanning the change from silver to clad composition. These extremely rare errors were created when a small number of silver dime planchettes remained inside one of the mint's large tot beans. When the bean was then filled with the sand planchets for production and the few remaining dime planchets found their way to the sand press. It was sold for $9,200 at Heritage Auctions. This is 1951 proof Roosevelt dime in PR68 plus deep cameo condition, spectacularly toned specimen only 57,500 proof sets were issued in 1951, the year after Mint resumed its commercial proof set offerings. Few survivors have been seen with deep cameo contrast, and coins in extremely high grade tend to have brilliant surfaces. This magnificent plus graded PR68 specimen displays vivid shades of burnt orange and cobalt blue toning over sharply detailed design elements and deeply reflective fields that contrast dramatically with the frosty devices. Sold on April 28, 2016 for $18,800 at Heritage Auctions. This is 1977 S. Eisenhower dollar struck through a copper staple with staple fully retained in the planchet. The staple runs from the IB in Liberty through Eisenhower's portrait to the final seven in the date. The president's profile is clear of the staple. The coin itself is deeply mirrored and beautifully preserved with brilliant surfaces. Sold on April 15, 2021 for $8,400 at Heritage Auctions. Moving on with this 1950 Lincoln set in PR68 red ultra cameo condition. The 1950 is rarely seen with ultra cameo contrast. Mint officials had difficulty during the first year of proof production after 8 year hiatus. Pumpkin gold surfaces are practically perfect with deeply reflective mirrors and sickly frosted devices. Sold on August 2, 2017 for $19,975 at Heritage Auctions. As this is attractively toned 1948 Franklin half dollar in mint state 68 with full bell lines on reverse. The 1947 was the first year the mint issued mint sets in now widely recognized flat packs. Each mint set produced coins in a given year had a separate cardboard holder. What is important to know about this packaging is each holder had a significant presence of sulfur in its composition, which in turn produced magnificent toning on at least one side, sometimes both as seen here. The surfaces of this one display rich original multicolored toning, deeper on obverse and the reverse, obviously of mint set origin. Sold on April 25, 2022 for $26,400 at Heritage Auctions.